Listen for the words reproduce and hint. Welcome back. To refresh your memory, there's a new superhero in town known as Kid Math. Kid Math and Word Girl teamed up to stop Dr. Two Brain's plan to cover the city in wax before turning everything into cheese. And as we ended the previous episode, both of our heroes were trapped. Mm. I can get back inside if you think it'll help build suspense. No, forget it. Thanks for that weather update, Maria. In other news, I'm covered in wax. Chuck and Rachel, back to you. We did it! We stopped phase one of Dr. Two Brain's evil plan. According to my calculations, that leaves one more phase to stop. Come on, let's find that mouse blimp. Uh, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but we won't find Dr. Two Brains until he wants to be found. So right now I have to go home for dinner. <laughs> dinner? What kind of superhero gives up for dinner? Uh, I'm not giving up. A part of being a superhero is balancing your normal life with your superhero duties. Normally, I'm all about a balanced equation, but it still seems like it would be much easier to just be a superhero all the time. But if everyone knew my secret identity, I'd never eat in peace again, because the villains would never leave me alone. Go back to your spaceship. Tomorrow at school, we'll talk about the best way to stop Dr. Two Brains. Okay. I'll see you at school tomorrow, where, thanks to you, no one will ever figure out Rex is really Kid Math! I think he's getting the hang of it. <laughs> yeah, not at all. Hello there, Earth Kids. I'm sure not Kid Math at all. Please don't talk to me. Boy. Isn't it crazy that neither one of us is a superhero from the planet Hexagon? I mean, what are the odds? Are you following me? What are you doing? Making sure no one thinks I'm... Kid Math! Rex, telling everyone that you're not Kid Math is almost equal to saying that you are Kid Math. Look, just don't talk about Kid Math at all, ever. Don't even give any hints that you know anything about Kid Math at all. What do you mean, hints? Oh, a hint is a small piece of useful information that can help someone figure out a bigger question. Like if people hear you talk about Kid Math or Hexagon enough, they might use that information as hints or clues to figure out who you really are. Oh, yeah, I suppose I was kind of doing that. But right now we must get to work on a plan to stop Dr. Two Brains from launching his phase two. I agree. Do you have any ideas? You bet I do. Why don't we just tear down the city before Dr. Two Brains has a chance to turn it into cheese? <laughs> Great idea, huh? That's a horrible idea. Horrible? No, it's perfectly logical. You see, if we subtract the city from the equation, then there's no city for Dr. Two Brains to turn into cheese. But we can't destroy the city. Sure we can. We have amazing superpowers. No one would be able to stop us. <sighs> Look, Rex. There's more to this superhero thing than defeating villains. The most important part of being a superhero is protecting the people. Get it? Definitely. <gasps> Ooh, what if we turn the city into cheese first, beating him at his own game? <sighs> I think it's time for you to get to know some of the people we're here to protect. Rex, this is my best friend, Violet. Violet, this is my new friend, Rex. Hi, Rex. If you're a friend of Becky's, and I'm a friend of Becky's, then we can be friends, too. What do you feel like painting today, Rex? I know. I'll perfectly reproduce my favorite equation in paint. Well, reproduce means to copy or make something that's the same as the original. So when you say perfectly reproduce your favorite equation, do you mean you're going to actually paint a math equation on that canvas? That is correct. Look. Yellow plus blue equals green! Wow, that's really clever, Rex. Thanks, Violet. That was a nice compliment you gave me. And compliments make Earthlings feel good, which I am an Earthling, not Kid Math. I'm really bad at receiving compliments and not mentioning that I'm Kid Math. Yeah, I've noticed. I really like your friend, though. She's a lot of fun to talk to. In fact, I like a lot of the kids I've met today. I'm glad. Don't you see? These are the people that you're protecting. And protecting them means protecting their city. That 
that's what makes a great superhero. Yes, a superhero finds a way to defeat the villain that also protects the people. Now you get it. Help! <laughs> Dr. Two Brains has a giant ray aimed at the city from his mouse blimp. Wait, is this the police station? No, it's a school. The same as it was last week, and the week before that, and the week before that. Oh! <laughs> See you tomorrow. Dr. Two Brains must be preparing to launch phase two. We need an excuse to get out of here. Is it okay if I give this a try? Well... Uh, Miss Champlain? Yes? Normal Earth student Rex here. Yes, Rex. Hi. Uh... My stomach is hurting, and I need Becky to show me where the nurse's office is. Oh, no! You two get going. Thank, Thank you. you! Okay, let's go. Word up! Your number's up! Hold it right there! Well, if it isn't Word Girl and her new sidekick, Kid Map. I'm not her sidekick, we're equals, and we're about to add you to the city jail. You know, he really is getting much better with his banter. Uh, thank you. Really, just delightful. All right, enough with the blah, blah, blah. It's time for me to reveal my secret phase, a little phase I call phase one and a half. Phase one and a half? That's a fraction. Did you know about this? A secret mouse blimp inside a mouse blimp. And wouldn't you know it? That tiny blimp is scheduled to depart just moments after my henchmen initiate the cheese ray amplification sequence, which is right now. Uh, you guys want to start the cheese ray amplification sequence right now? Oh, right. Sorry, boss. <laughs> Ah, music to my mousy ears. Well, looks like you two have a choice. Either save the city from being turned into a giant hunk of mouth-watering cheese, or capture me. But you can't do both! <laughs> what will our heroes do? Will they stop Dr. Two Brains from escaping in his miniature mouse blimp and let the city be turned into cheese? Or will they shut down his cheese ray amplifier thing and let Dr. Two Brains escape? I choose both! You can't choose both. Listen up, rookie. By the time you're done shutting down the cheese ray, I'll be on a faraway beach sipping on a cheese colada. He's right. There isn't time. <gasps> but there is. Think about it. With math, there are now two superheroes on the job. So if we divide and conquer, one of us can stop Dr. Two Brains while the other one of us stops the cheese ray. Oh, yeah. Great idea, Kid Math! You stop Dr. Two Brains from escaping while I stop the rays from reaching the city. I'd rather stop the rays if that's okay. It'll show that I've learned that a superhero must protect the people. Uh, okay, fine. You got the rays, I got two brains. Go! Huh? Oh! Why didn't I put a faster motor in the escape blimp? Plus kid math equals victory! <laughs> right, plus Huggy. Sorry, Huggy. Forgot to carry the monkey. And so the addition of kid math to the team of Word Girl and Huggy defeated Dr. Two Brains and protected the wonderful people of the city. And it looks like kid math learned some important lessons about being a superhero along the way. Psst. Uh, what, what is it? I'm trying to wrap things up here. Uh, don't you mean normal, regular Earth Rex? No, you don't need to protect your secret identity while you're dressed as Kid Mac. Ah, right. You know, we still have a little work to do. I'll say. And remember, for fun and excitement you just can't reproduce anywhere else, tune in next time for another thrilling episode of... I'll give you
you a hint. It's my favorite show. You guessed it. Word Girl!